In 1905, Cather published her first book of fiction, The Troll Garden, and by 1906 she took a job in New York, a really great job as managing editor of McClure's Magazine. She was practically running the place after a while, one of the most powerful women in journalism at the time, but she really wanted to be a professional writer. In the next letter, you get at some of the frustration she felt as she didn't quite have what she wanted in her life. Mr. McClure tells me that he does not think I will ever be able to do much at writing stories, that I am a good executive and I had better let it go at that. I sometimes, indeed I very often think that he is right. If I have been going forward at all in the last five years, it has been progress of the head and not of the hand. At 34, one ought to have some sureness in their pen point and some facility in turning out a story. In other matters, things about the office, I can usually do what I set out to do, and I can learn by experience. But when it comes to writing, I'm a newborn baby every time. Always come into it naked and shivery and without any bones. I never learn anything about it at all. I sometimes wonder whether one can possibly be meant to do the thing at which they are more blind and inept and blundering than at anything else in the world. It was only four years after she wrote this letter that she finally did leave McClure's magazine and become a professional novelist. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Archives, I'm Andy Jewell.